Hi, my name is Sam Koff, and this poem is entitled, Ken Kesey's Lasting Impact. As 1960 rolled around, Ken Kesey let some tests begin, from Stanford Kesey up and fled to live inside a loony bin. A mental institute was home for Kesey as he let them try. The doctors filled his head with drugs and watched, observing every high. Then after Kesey had volunteered to be tried with the doctor's drugs, he nailed a job working beside the mental health care doctor thugs. In four stint, Ken Kesey practiced mental health care of the age, and in this job, Ken Kesey witnessed just how the doctors misbehave. They inappropriately assigned severe diagnoses due to incentives and information shortfalls, and then they applied according treatments, reducing human brains to gumballs. One such treatment which came in vogue was the infamous lobotomy. This procedure entailed the severing of the brain's frontal lobes through the navel cavity. Between 1936 and 1960, an estimated 50,000 lobotomies were performed. And so these treatments, ruthless and fatal, were used by professionals without scorn. After experiencing these horrors, Kesey exposed these realities to the world. By his novel, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the truths of mental institutions were unfurled. Published in 1962, this novel recounted the effects of a mental institution on a number of men, three of whom die in their meager efforts to regain their humanity once again. R.P. McMurphy, the main character, deceitfully enters the mental institution sane. Unfortunately, by the end of the novel, a lobotomy destroys the function of his brain. Billy Bibbit is a patient who kills himself out of inadequate feelings. Similarly, Charles Cheswick is a patient who kills himself out of subhuman feelings. In this novel, Kesey suggests these deaths are the fault of the institution, and so Kesey exposes American mental health care in an effort to provoke justified retribution. The retribution which Kesey effectively incited indirectly addressed mental, in mental institutions in its aim. The hippie movement of the 1960s was the culmination of Kesey's humanitarian game. Kesey's literary efforts not only generated awareness of mental health care malpractice, but it emphasized the sanctity of human beings and let this in the future impact us. Kesey's teachings and his literature have tangibly carried into the modern time as people vehemently seek justice for the victims of marginalization, institutionalization, discrimination, and crime. And that is Kesey's lasting impact. My name is Sam Koff. Thank you so much.